Today we're going to look at how to edit a video in Canva with a particular focus on timings and effects. So from the Canva home screen we'll go to video and then we'll go to video landscape. Now the first thing I'm going to do for the video is to actually go down to the bottom of the timeline here and say add audio. And I'm going to type in fabulous destiny and you'll see it'll come up here. So I'll click on this and that will put it into the bottom of the timeline here. But now I need to add in some videos. So I'm going to go back up to elements and I've got some already under recently used but you can find all of these by going to videos and then I typed in Paris to get most of these because the video is going to be a travel video on Paris. So we'll go to see all and then I'm going to add these videos to the timeline. So go for this first one and then I'm just going to make them a little bit shorter to begin with and to do that I'll just click on the end of the video and bring it in like this and I'll just click again for the next one and we'll do the same and I'm going to do this for all of the videos that I'm going to use. For the final page I'm just going to click here and click blank and then click on the background and change it to black. Now if we want to edit each individual video and the length of a video what we can do to make the time editing more accurate is to go down to the bottom here and where it says zoom page we click on that and then it will say zoom thumbnails. And the difference is when it says zoom page and you use this, the page will zoom in and out. If it's set to zoom thumbnails, then the thumbnails down the bottom will zoom in and out. So you'll be able to get more accurate timing when you're changing the length of the video. So you can use the scroll to go back to the beginning. And then here you can just change the length of the video. So it's at 3 seconds, 2.9. Move it along to where you want it to be but we're just going to zoom out a bit again now and I'm going to use a particular function on Canva by clicking on the audio down the bottom and I'll click Beat Sync and what that'll do is to sync the videos into the beat of the music so it's really helpful if you're creating a short or a TikTok when you've got maybe a few fast paced videos fitted to a background beat track but you can also use it for something like this. It just simplifies this particular example today. So I'll click Beat Sync and it will say Sync now. Your pages and elements will be automatically timed to the music and this is a Canva Pro feature. So I'll click this here and then what we find is that these videos now are timed to the background music. So they'll change at the right time in the beat of the music. Now we want to add some transitions between these scenes. So for this first one here we can go between the two videos and click add transition and then maybe just a simple dissolve. And this is where timing comes in again because here you've got the duration of the effect. I'm going to put this up to one second. And then when you look down the bottom here you'll see, and we can zoom in again, that the effect is shown in purple here. So if we play from this position, it will go straight into the effect between the two slides. And you can click on the effect and you can change the timing. If we wanted to make it a bit longer, you'd see that the purple area will get longer. But I'm just going to keep it at one second. And then we can move on to the next transition. And for this one, I might add in a line wipe. Again we'll have it at um, one second and down here it tells us the direction of the wipe so we're going to have it coming in from the right hand side of the screen across. Again we can go to another one so we'll click here add transition and we'll go for a slide and we'll make that about a second 
and we'll click it so it comes in from the left hand side and then it should look like this. Now you can go along adding in more transitions. If you wanted all of the transitions to be the same, so like the dissolve transition, you would just need to go down to the bottom and say apply between all pages and then every transition between the videos would be a dissolve transition of one second. But I'm just going to add a few different ones now uh, quickly so I'll speed up the video while I do that. This last one here I've made quite long because it's going to be a fade into a black slide. So I'll zoom out a bit and we've got the videos synced to the audio beat and we've got the transitions in between the different videos. And now the next thing we can do is to add in some text and I'm going to create some scrolling text across the top of the screen. So to do that I'll go right back to the beginning of the video here. And the first thing I'm going to do is to add a shape. So I'll go to Elements, go back, go down to Shapes, and click on the square. And now I'm going to put this across the top of the screen, because this is where the text is going to scroll. And I'll make this a black background. Next, I'm going to go and get the text. Uh, but first, I want to make sure that this square here extends across the whole of the video, certainly up to this end point here where it goes into the black screen. So we'll go to text, add a heading, and I'm going to click on Canva Sans here and change it to DM Sans, slightly different font. And now I'm going to click on the uppercase letter and I've got some text that I'm going to paste into here. So here's the text, I'm going to make it a bit smaller. I'm actually going to click back onto zoom page, just zoom out a bit so I can turn this into one line of text. And what's also important is I'm going to leave a bit of space at either end like this. So keep the text central. And then if we bring it along, we do want to have some space either end of the text. So space on this end here and space on the other end too. And so the reason for that is that once I've clicked on this, I'm gonna change the text to white. So it will show up against this black background here. And then I'm going to put the text all the way over here, zoom out as far as I can go, and just place the text so it's just off the screen, but the box is still here. If it goes all the way off, then you'll lose the text entirely and it'll be deleted. So we need to have this box here. Now I'm going to add some animation to this, but first I want to make sure that this text box extends all the way through the video, right to the end. And I'm gonna leave a little bit of space at the beginning here before it starts scrolling in. Then with the text selected, go to Animate and click on this B icon here. And by clicking on this empty area of the text here and holding down Shift, we'll be able to, with the mouse, draw an animation straight across from the right-hand side of the screen to the left-hand side, and we'll want to go all the way until all of the text has passed over the slide. So I'll hold down Shift, click on it and drag. So once we've done that, you see that the text is scrolling through. But what we can do is we can go to Movement Styles and click on that and go down to Smooth, which will make the text go through more smoothly. And we'll take the speed all the way down to make the text come across the screen as slowly as possible during the course of the video. So now we can click Done and we'll zoom in. And now there's another animation type that we can add to this. So you may want some kind of animation going across the screen during a video that you create. It may not necessarily be appropriate for this one, but I'll do it anyway. So go to Elements and go back and then we'll go to Graphics, type in Bird. Go to this part here where it says Animation 
and click animated and then you'll get some animated birds come up and we're going to click on this one here. Now I'm going to click on flip and flip horizontal so it's facing the other way. Make the bird smaller and again we'll place it right on the edge of the screen here. Decide where in the video you want the bird to start flying across the screen. We're going to go for here and then I'll just extend it through a bit. So about halfway through this slide. And again we can go to animate, click on the B and then we can click on the purple box here and hold and then draw the path of the animation. Again what we can do is to click here and say steady this time and then you can decide what speed you want the bird to fly at, taking it down a bit. And then click done. Next we're going to add some text to the video. So we'll go all the way back to the beginning of the video here. And then we'll go to text, add a heading, and I'm going to change the font to this Huygen Elegant Serif and I'm going to type in Paris, enlarge it a bit, place it at the bottom of the frame here and then we'll go to effects, lift and give it a lift with the intensity there. Now go to animate and we'll go down to clarify. You can have the effect on both the on enter and on exit by clicking both. So we'll just put the speed up a bit for this one. And then we can go down here and decide where we want that text to come in. So just after this scroll starts and then we'll just bring it along to the end of this second slide here. So if we play that we'll see that that word then comes up. Now once that text is finished and it's disappeared we want to start another one. So for this one it's going to be experience the sights. So go back to text, add a heading, change the font to the one that you want and type in what you want to say. So experience the sights going to place this one further up the top of the image and then remembering to give it a lift as well to help it stand out just a little bit better. We'll go to animate and we'll choose a different one this time, perhaps shift. This one you can apply the effect to the character and again it will be on both the entry and the exit by clicking both and we'll put the speed up and then we will extend this one a little bit as well to about here. I'm going to put in a few more texts in the same way that I've done those two, but I'll do those quickly now. Now we're going to put in some final effects for the end of the video. So when we get to this final page here, I'm just going to have simply the words book now. So we'll go to add a heading put it on capitals, change that to Anton and I'll type in book now, enlarge it slightly and place it in the middle of the slide and then go to animate and we'll go down to spread and we'll just have it on enter because we don't want the text to disappear. And then when we look at this here, we want the book now to be kept within this screen. So we want it to finish at the end of the black slide and we'll just have it appear about here. And finally, we want to click on the audio and then up the top here, click fade. And we want to fade out at the end 
perhaps about th three seconds. And so now we can play the whole thing. So to download your video, you'll just need to go to Share, Download, Download as an MP4 and choose the quality that you want and click Download. And that's how to edit a video in Canva with a particular focus on timing, animations and effects. I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you today. Please do subscribe to the channel to learn more about Canva.